recording in progress. You're, you're looking more and more like a character from Monty Python. <laughs> is your favorite color? Blue. <laughs> no, wait, green. Ah! <laughs> We've lost a few from the team. <laughs> How long have you been in the cave? <laughs> it, it's like every time I see you, you're, you got some nice hair growing strength. Yeah, I got a little hair, I know. Yeah. Like not having a haircut for three years, I'll do it. <laughs> Two and a half years, anyway. New Zealand. Yeah. You got a blend of the office. I'm getting my office more and more set up now. Oh, yeah? I'll give you a quick tour. It's getting better. Okay, remember my old uh, my old desk? Yeah. Okay, a little small. Yeah, yeah. It's just a little small. Keep all my important stuff in here. Uh huh. Oh, oh you can't see. Okay. Yeah. Got some paperwork. Planetary Guardians. Very nice. What's that? Tech Wars. Very nice. Other stuff. <laughs> Other projects. <laughs> the two big ones. Uh, yeah. Got some cool art from the girls. And uh -huh. some oh, the, the, the like plan. Yeah. And now and what then, is, uh, what's the new I setup look like? Side, I got some stuff going on. I just okay. got a calendar. Oh, that's good. Big. A to do list. Uh, I want to. I want to use that sleep. one. I want to <laughs> insert some stuff in there. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And then coming around, I got a giant picture frame. Okay. A few pictures in there. Bed. Oh, nice. It's an, oh, I got you. And, oh, the work. Yeah. And, then and now, oh, a whiteboard. A whiteboard yesterday. Very nice. Yeah, another whiteboard. And then map. Oh, this, it's actually a bulletin board with the world map on it. I thought it was pretty cool. Okay. So I can stick some pins on it. Yeah, and that's then, important. Uh, well, then I got my other desk, and you've got another very small desk. How how come you don't get like yeah, this bigger. bigger desks? I got them both for free. <laughs> the whiteboard was eight dollars. The the bulletin board was seven dollars. <laughs> I'm on a strict budget here still. <laughs> you went to the uh, garage sales, right, or thrift stores? No, that stuff is new, but uh, the um, the desks, I've got one from my old work for free, and the other one... Side of the road. Oh, uh, the other one came with this house, basically. Oh. You must be pretty excited about that whiteboard. That's a, a step up. I am, yeah. I'm excited about the whiteboard. It's going gonna, it's gonna to increase my progress by 2.5% at least. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, there we go. So, yeah, anyway. So, you're done with school the first term? Yeah, first uh, semester is finished. I'm back in basically the, the first day of the next month. So, it's like August 1st, or August 2nd, or 3rd, or something like that. First Monday of the month. Doesn't seem right to be in school in the summer. Well, here it's the winter. So oh, it makes more sense. Okay, I guess. Yeah, I guess I'm not not that clued in. So, how was your first semester? Oh, like, just hold on. I just gotta grab my coffee. Okay. Oh, you know what? I can take it with me. I'll take it with me. <laughs> yeah, my first semester uh, was pretty good. Learned a lot of C plus plus, C sharp, uh, Unity, which is like a three D engine. Uh, next semester here, we're going to be using Unreal, and those two engines, pretty much all the games are made out of one or the other. These oh, days. nice. So, I, I mean, like, all the, like, very high-end games are made out of, of one or the other. All the shooting games, all the RPGs, everything. So, if we want to make... Oh, I had a vision for the ultimate game the other day. Uh-huh. Um, one that would be positive for the world and also fun to play. Uh-huh. And also cooperative. Okay, so imagine uh, like a top-down simulation uh, view, like high-end high graphics, top-down simulation view of the world, 
where uh, you know you start in whatever city you're starting, um, and you see like you see the kind of see the city, right? The city, all the buildings and stuff, people going to work, driving around, all that stuff. But it's all kind of gray. It's all dark. It's all it's all black and white and green, like matrix green looking, right? And that's the matrix itself. And then you start off, you're 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 a player. So you're, what you have is in color. Your character starts with color. Your little tiny house is color, or your apartment or whatever you start with. And then you have to you know build like you have to build infrastructure and stuff, get other people involved, et cetera, et cetera. And all of what you create is color, and the rest is black and white and matrixy looking. Maybe not green, but whatever. And uh, I was thinking actually green and black and white and red, like Terminator, Terminator I red and Matrix green and, and black and white mostly. And like, anyway, and, and, and the idea is that, yeah, you'd be creating, you know, infrastructure, you're creating change, you're creating, uh, you know, food chair place, a little uh, poetry meeting, whatever, you know, hundreds of different things we could build into there all, you know, stuff to do with the new paradigm the new economy wow, i like it i like and it and as this builds oh. out yeah as it builds up you can see it because it's in color right and then eventually after you start getting to a certain level you know the system starts fighting back and stuff and that's where you see the red the red things come in and the green things come in and try to give you tickets or whatever else right like it depends on what's <laughs> going on and and you can see like you can see um you can see like the logging happening over in the forest and stuff and like all the major things are happening in the game that just as they are in real life okay and you can you know try to rally right because the random people you see walking around in the game you know they represent real people in the world but of course they're just game characters but so you can kind of rally them you can get them as customers to your things you can also kind of rally them to your protests other things and they turn colorful when they get how they, the, they light up of what's going on as well and they make yeah. a yeah, and they may go back to black and white if they lose enthusiasm, et cetera, but otherwise they stay color and they go home and they're color and they drive their car and it's color and all that stuff. And you can, and then anyway, so it's a, it's an online game. So everywhere else where people are playing as well, like wherever, like if you, if you log in from Vancouver, you start in Vancouver. If you log in from Nanaimo, you, you're starting Nanaimo, et cetera, right? Okay. So you can see the other players because you see the color and and there's no competition between players. Instead, it's cooperation between players, just like it should be in real life, right? We're cooperating to create a new system to help each other with our different projects and stuff. And anyway, I, I don't, I, you know, I obviously haven't thought of all the details, but that's sort of the idea. What do you think? I, I like it. I mean, I, the one piece that's a bit missing that I, I like to have in, the, in a game is the online offline connection so that there's well, people more can, yeah people can connect any way they want offline but the point of the game is you can connect online in the game so if you're physically in the same place as someone you're going to see them on the map right with you in the oh. same city otherwise you know people can create like what you do is you build in communications technologies into the game right like say we build in our our, our chat room our think tank into the game itself so they can log in you know they find you know, they see, like you can pick up props in the game, right? Like you pick up the coffee news or you pick up the, the newspaper or something in the game and it's all black and white, except for one little piece that's color. And hey, it's someone's ad or it's our ad. And they, they see a link to Planetary Guardians. They see a link to the chat room, to the choose a remedy, something like that. And then, so we could build our communication stuff into the game because like it actually is as well yeah. in the real life part of that right and we we can build connections to real things in the in the real world that are happening that are that are with a new paradigm and are trying to change things and protesting whatever well isn't it that they're, anyway yeah like they're creating a digitization of space like whatever if you have a mall they're going to have a digitized mall or like whatever real physical space exists from what i understand from these smart cities and stuff they're creating a digital representation of it and so that would be that's a kind of a world right at some point that'll be virtual reality kind of stuff and if if we're creating our own world that we digitize it where we like we're showing the relationship like like i mean in in portland what they were doing is they were putting little tea houses like in a in a in a space where there was nothing like that so what happens in the game if you build the tea house kind of thing 
but then that opens up some sort of like project a possibility that in real life people could show up there and build the tea house kind of thing uh, yeah 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 you know what that makes sense we could even have like a you could have like a section because like the game itself should be a real game like you install it on your computer you buy it on steam ten dollars whatever but it's online obviously right so it could also have a, a, a kind of piece of it that's connected to the website and the website over there that just stands by itself and you can go into the game from there and on there we could have all sorts of different stuff including maybe a crowdfunding section where it's like the tea house in the game right there is because you get enough customers and you do it you know you successfully create this tea house and it wow. starts to get popular in the game boom it pops up on the crowdfunding page as something that could be crowdfunded for real on this street i love you know, it you know, blah 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 so you have these scenarios online which are like uh, futurizing things and if you can prove it works because it's basically you create your business plan online and then you prove that it works and then you can make it happen in the real world yeah. it's a great way of doing things yeah and and the backwards thing is you also take the stuff that already exists the tea house on this and the street in portland and so on anything that we you know that people identify and you put it into the game as something that's already there uh you know maybe maybe it would show up like like in color as well like player colors or maybe slightly different colors but it'd still be colorful or something but well, yeah well, you could also anyway this will take you know game, but no i i like it i mean you could color code you could have a color coding to the colors too that was kind of secret that could show sort of like planetary guardian space to be a certain way of codifying things that you could read the map very differently if you understood what the colors meant and that's part of i guess the color code with the inflow right we're oh, yeah. Yeah. anyway making making this a real game it's not you know we don't have to just have a map you can have like you know it's a map but also when you zoom in you see the buildings the cars driving around the people walking around you can zoom all the way down to the little the little tea house and see the logo hey it's got a planetary guardians logo on it you know we could just do that so would that so be that like the sim our stuff has a logo on it would that kind of be like the sim sort of like this yeah it would, it would begin to look like the sims yeah one one big world of the sims yeah where it wouldn't be all about building your house uh maybe we could build that stuff in for people that want to do that and they could charge we could charge a little bit of money to help everything else go because people do like that stuff and of course we got to build in little you know real economy stuff to take to to be able to get some money from the, re the current economy to power up the, the real new economy right but yeah basically the 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 point the main point of it would be to create this this sort of simulation of revolution the revolution simulation that is kind of the idea I had where the color the color begins to expand everywhere in little pieces here and there and they're connecting together and they're all real people evolution I think you should use yeah. the word evolution <laughs> I think I think revolution yeah. always implies revolution has so many weird meanings though what's that well both sorry well then we need a new oh, word revolution. Because both are kind of uh let's say what you know i heard the word progression yeah as, a, as opposed to evolution we're progressing like we're we're making like supposedly we're the fifth root race right mm -hmm. there's been four root races ahead of us and that at each stage it kind of gets extincted and but then there's elements of the next race to come within us and so we're as a species we're genetically yeah. progressing and we and we sort of have these times where a new root race come in, like the Atlanteans could have been one, Lemurians could have been one, and it's sort of it, it it's a long period of time. There's a, there's a, could be two hundred thousand years or something, right? But and then something happens, or eradicates it, then the, it gets seeded again by whoever, let's say, would be our genetic masters, or whether the Anunnaki, or maybe different beings come together. We we got to change this DNA. We got to change that. Maybe. Or maybe it's natural, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. Madame Blavatsky and, and, and those people. Well, this this was more from the John Melchizedek stuff. The yeah, you're right. It was coming from Alice Bailey. It was coming. I don't know if you like the little blue books, and there's about forty of them, and they they were by Lucius printing by uh, the, T the Tibetan monk, so, but Alice Bailey was the pen name or something, but really advanced spiritual knowledge and it it was laying stuff down I, I i haven't seen anywhere else but i think the christians put it as lucifer kind of stuff 
So I, I don't know, but it does talk about the root races and really explains what happened. Anyway, um, I had a, I had a breakthrough where I had, I've been playing with some new tech that is going to transform what we're doing. And I got a hold of the, the guy who built it. I remember I told you about new map. Yeah. Did I have a like a circle based interface? Yeah. And you said they broke up lately. Like they, yeah, they, they disbanded they, or they dissolved. Yeah. yeah. The team dissolved, but Chris was the guy who built it and he's created his own. I think they both have the versions now, and, but Chris is the main coder behind it. Right. So, um, but he's, mm -hmm. He's actually built something else, I think, that he's more interested in. So he's got this side thing that nobody's using that I just called him up to get a hold of it because I wanted to get access and he gave me access. And it's, it's, uh, I'll, I'll, I can show it to you right now if you want to take a look. Do you want me to do a share screen? Sure. Okay. For you. Okay. Okay. Can you see? Yeah, interesting. We got Inflow Matrix, School of Conscious Communication, Planetary Guardians, New Paradigm Toolkit, Very Secret Plan. So within the Inflow, there's five, your five main product lines for me. Yours would be different kind of here, but we might share some of them. But let's say we go into the Inflow Matrix, individual choice level, the flow, the harmony, the synergy. This is forcing me to actually look at how I would organize these things because it's not in the frames anymore. Like this is just piece of it. This is the navigating system. Now here, I can pull a, a, a hole on over like this, and then you can give it a title. Let's just say, uh, seek it entrance. And you can put a, it's very simple to put a picture. So that's basically how you create a hole on and then you go in there and then you can just create as many sort of links and you can put if you look on the lower right you can put a link or you can put a youtube video so you can basically create a whole media system that has links i i'm hoping i, I don't see it that we can embed a chat room we could put all the chat rooms in here and so you just move you you would understand where to go but let's say you go back out. Okay, save changes. You go back out. Um, I'll just remove that. So if I go into the, oh, I haven't programmed that one. So let's say here's the community harmony lenses. So here's the main map, right? So I put those lenses, I had these lenses that if you could keep but you can keep on going, but now I'm coming through the science lens. But what's different is in the way I'd want is then I could choose sort of different lenses to put in there that would actually be functional to a database. But that doesn't exist right now. But this is again, like this is looks pretty cool, right? In terms of the interface. Um, yeah, so you'd be able to click on one of those lenses there and then Potentially, like with this program, you can put in the other circles on the lens itself and go yeah. deeper, like yeah. before dot G there. Yeah, like I mean, you can just wow. the simplicity is so it's just so simple. You just drag and drop mm -hmm. a a circle, and then you can keep on dragging and drop circles and name them and picture them, and you're creating this navigation system. That that so cool. isn't that neat. And because everything I'm working with is, is circles. Um, so, so then if you go to look at secret plan, I go who are the characters in the secret plan, males, it's a little slow, oh you're not in there, you're the missing guy, <laughs> I just wonder who's missing, it's you. <laughs> so here, here's, here's like, you can put in a video. Anyway, you don't have to watch the video, but 
you can have like, and you can make, you can make this bigger. So you can bring this over. And so you've got a, a navigating screen that's, that's unlike anything else out there, right? So to me, it, it, it's the beginning of the connecting part because this I think can connect, connect the websites with like in the websites, we can have open portals. You go into the portal and you're coming into one part of the navigation system. So to me, it's, it's, it's a way to connect the websites and all our pieces and puzzles together. And he's, he, he's got no time for it. And I already pitched him saying, I'll come up with the business model. I'll come up with the team, come up with the way to make money with it. Just put me in charge of it. I don't know if he's going to go for it, but yeah, I mean, he's, he he's putting his all his attention on something else. So he, and he, no one, I spent two weeks specifically um, coming up with a, a series of symbols for this. You know, maybe I can show you. Um, you know what the other thing he has, he's focusing on. Um, I think it's like the larger internet. He's focusing on creating an internet that's sort of utilizes this, but is a sort of a bigger picture kind of thing. He's got a white paper. I'll send you, I'll send you his stuff that he's got. Um, what am I trying to do here? Sounds like something similar to what Dylan's talking about, maybe in the, another browser or something. I don't think it's the browser. Um, let me, hmm. so as you know, we got all these PNGs, but at some point I made, um, So I've got like these sorts of things, right? Where you can actually, um, anyway, like it's, it's like I've got a whole navigating system for how to put all the circles together. So I've got a piece of the puzzle that he doesn't have. And I've got the, you know, the ideas, okay, how do you connect a school, an online media game, the new paradigm toolkit, the software system and a web TV show like that to me will really connect a lot of the dots together, how we really use it. And so then it becomes the flagship for people seeing, Oh, wow, I want to do something like that. And then they can sign up. But well, let's see, you need to take, take that game I was talking about, right? You know how you have ATMs everywhere right now. We have uh, sometimes we still have phone booths, stuff like that. What about a little booth you could walk up to and you see this. <laughs> and it's you know it's a little colorful booth on a wall somewhere in the in the game, and you can walk up to it because it's colorful. You know, oh, I wonder what that is, and you look at it, boom, this thing opens up, and then all of a sudden they're navigating. Because to to me, we got to like yeah, to me, it's a new way to navigate the net. You know, well, but only with the stuff that we put on there. True. So it's ours. True. Or it's, yes. you know, that's the thing. It's uh, if it becomes the flagship for say the new paradigm, you know not just your new paradigm toolkit, but the entire new paradigm, if it becomes a flagship for that, even if a flagship, it's still people will start requesting that we put our thing on, put my thing on there. Hey, I made a website about this. Hey, I'm working on a project here. Hey, I run an organization. Boom, this map gets bigger and bigger. And it's already being, because it's already being accessed by people that are participating in the real game or in a game like we're talking about, that it becomes more and more popular and so on, right? Yeah. And it's it, the timing. Like I see. Saying, that, uh, sir? What, uh, what's, what was the URL on that thing? Um, no. yeah. Let me just uh, get that for you. Um, HTTPS colon slash slash hollow map dot earth slash inflow matrix. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you can you can put permissions and settings of what people can see and what they can't, what they can access, what they can't. Here, I think I one of the big missing before. I don't think it happened before, but what's that? Do you notice in the top left? You notice in the top left of our Zoom meeting where it says recording. Do you see yeah. that? Yeah. 
What about it? Just watch it while we're talking because it keeps going unencrypted back and forth. Oh, really? But like, uh, it's fine right now. But yeah, there, that, see? You see that little little exclamation point? No. Oh, that's weird. Well, I'm sure we're being monitored. I mean, okay. at this point, I think they're... It says uh, you're being monitored. Well, <laughs> if I click, I'll send you. I'll send you a screenshot here. Hold on, I'm sending a screenshot on uh, Facebook. It okay. Says uh, it says one in encryption enabled, one exception, and then I click on the exception. What the fuck does that mean? I've never seen yeah, that. Uh, me neither. Oh, wait. And this is the exception. Elijah, <laughs> Elijah Gnadi of the video. What? An exception. It's an exception to the encryption. <laughs> I know. It's like when I was uh, in the forest, I was the only guy who was banned from the mountain. <laughs> it's, it's like they come up with uh, special rules for the anomalies because you, you, yeah. you they don't like anomalies. They're, they're, I, I, can't, I can't send a screenshot either. Oh, well, let me send a screenshot on Facebook. That's weird. I've had a few strange things going on. Like I tried to get some work for Darmendra and I put, uh, I made a video, put it up twice. It was put down twice immediately for, for going against community standards. And it's nothing like I've, I've always put videos up, tag people, never had a problem. All of a sudden I'm trying to help somebody else out who's a spiritual master. And all of a sudden they came to I think he he's one of Osho's bodyguards, right? So he was a follower of Osho. I think the inner circle of Osho is 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 monitored. Mm -hmm. I don't know about Osho. You don't know who Osho is? Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh. He was a spiritual master in the 70s and built up a, a massive fall. The guy was I I he could be my favorite spiritual master. In turn, like I read I've read 20 of his books and he takes the Sufis and he takes the the, the Christians, the Muslims, the Jews, he takes every spiritual worldview and explains it in a way that you understand in terms of what's their path of enlightenment and how is it different from the other ones. And he just, he just sits there and talks and then he write down what he comes up with. Like he was very advanced soul. And he, had, he, anyway, Darmendra was his bodyguard for seven years. So he, he, he had direct transmission from a real spiritual master. This uh, Darmender guy, is he the one that does all the secret geometry stuff and, and about physics? He does gene keys and human design. Okay. And okay. If, okay. You, Darmender. if you can afford it, like I'll try to see if I can swim. Oh, I can't. He needs the money. Um, but at some point, you should get a reading. At some point, I'll get you a reading. I just, I got to get, we got to get the engine going. Got to get the cash flow engine. <laughs> Cash flow, cash flow. Do you know what's a big missing piece? Is, is we you have to figure out how to, when they share, to share the spell, that the spell shares into Facebook and then there's a link back to our site. So they get, the spell is shared. Like right now, it just shares the site, right? Without the, without the spell. That doesn't do us any good. We got to be able to share the spell and then have a link back to the site. And that's, that's like a, the missing piece on the remedy program right now to make it viral. Yeah. All right, goes on the to-do list. <laughs> increase my productivity by at least 1.25%. Why is it so far away? Can't you have the to-do list closer? No, no, because I don't want to be staring at it the whole time. I want to be staring at the world map and my two, because I got two monitors here. And then I've got all my books on this side, you know, like, like uh, books on Buddhism. Nice. A lot of different stuff. Yeah. Uh, got my tarot card set. Nice. This tarot card set is, is uh, very specific. Looks a bit bogus. Now, Whoever designed the cover didn't do a good job. Looks looks bogus. No, this is uh, this is not. Uh, what's his face? 
you know, the, it's not Aleister Crowley and his, his yeah. following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although this, this stuff is kind of- It looks like the Rider weight deck. Yeah, no, this is not. No, this is a different one. This so is. You know, this is, I got two books on this, this whole deck and everything. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I got a message from Bill. He said he's having trouble connecting to the server. Yeah. And I was thinking, okay, I got I to gotta have a meeting with him. Uh, but we wanted to have a meeting first about what we want to talk about with him or something, right? Right. If we should do that now and then give him a call. <laughs> okay. Um, so... Yeah. So he sent me a message. Oh, I can't get my thing right now. But yeah, he said he couldn't get in the server and he said he was going to come up with some mock. Mm -hmm. He was going to work on the three screens, the chat room screen, the player entry screen, and then I guess the beginning of the back end for the, for the, you know. Can you get anywhere with the uh, slicing? No, I forgot all about that. Okay. Um. Shit, if if you can slice something up, I can bring it to life. Right. What What was? Can't believe I've never done that before. Yeah. It's, I mean, it looks kind of complicated, but once you get the skill down, I think you'll be able to cut all your stuff up into slices and, and send it to me, and I can animate it and make it all clickable, and it'll be pretty sweet. I like. I've done about a hundred and seventy maps in the last week. Like I am pumping some shit out, man. I mean, I'm. Uh, did you see the? Did you see this one? What I sent you, the one that has the fives. Yep. Did you, did you take a look at that at all, or is that too much? Um, well, I mean, I took a look at it right now, but I, I always for your stuff, I need explanation. <laughs> it looks nice, but I don't know what it does or what it's for exactly. Sometimes. Well, the, this one is is like you have the individual. You have the inner individual, you have the team, and you have the community. And then you have the relationship between those four with each other. And that's what those maps are. It's like the inner individual's relationship to his outer behavior, the inner individual's relationship to the community, and the inner individual's relationship to the team, and then the inner inner relationship with itself. And so these are the these are the primary relationships everywhere, like especially in Le CL. So it's it's like what is the community's relationship to the inner world of the individual you know that might be the religion that might be the worldview so it's it's a frame that i think that then you can use the harmony cards on top to actually look at all the aspects of society but yep. as a it, it does wicked readings like it, it's 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 i'm just seeing the relationship between multiple card decks and multiple maps and that the the amount of creativity in your readings is it's just it, like most, like the tarot deck is one deck, like most decks are one deck. And so you don't have that, you know, the amount of relationships that happen when you have like six items, right? You just- No, technically you don't, like that's the thing that the tarot deck is connected to a lot of stuff. Like you see the, the symbol on the bottom left, yeah. right? That, that connects to Kabbalah, uh, Kabbalah or Kabbalah and that the whole system in itself, right? True. I'm not, I'm not downplaying it. I'm just saying that when you have multiple decks, you have the relationships between the decks and the cards. So it's, it's like, yeah, yeah. It's, oh, okay. it's bringing divination to a much higher level of complexity. And then looking at the background structure, which the divination goes on top now becomes its own layer. Like the inflow matrix is like this language layer that then you can configure so many different ways to, of the language layer to put the content on top of. And I think when that that's the part we're going into software, because like it's like what you built with the three cards, you know, there's there's a lot more ways that we could configure that. Right. Like you just there's, you know, which card decks and which maps at some point, that's what we want. Like you want to program. OK, I want a five map. I want these decks. Bing, bing, bing. Click reading. It's, you know, to, yeah. to, well, just like just like tarot cards, when someone does a tarot reading, they can do seven cards in a row they can do four cards like this they can do a lot of different things exactly you know exactly. using the same cards but it's a different a different type of spell depending on what they're trying to do yeah yeah and people it's, will want that for sure yeah and it's uh once we get to that stage you know that's pretty advanced but okay so we got to talk about um 
what do we have to figure out in terms of screens? Like what are all the screens we have to figure out? But I'm, I'm hoping, I don't know, but I mean, yeah. if, if we can embed a, a chat room, because he said you could link the, you know, you could link them, you can link the video and you can link the uh, URL, but there's no embed button. And I, and if we could embed a chat room into that navigation screen, I'm thinking then we got a really neat little thing that mm -hmm. not sure, but so what do you think about, uh, what screen do you have any list of screens? I think I wrote down a list of screens, but I've lost it. Um, Well, I have this drawer with planetary guardians. On it. Okay. Are you going anywhere? Like, are you going on a long trip with your with your family, or are you staying home, kind of thing? Yeah, well, for uh, yeah, the last week. Let's see. Okay, hold on. Let me think about where I am. Oh, I have it on my calendar. Hold on. I have a calendar. So from yeah, the week, kind of the second to last week of the month, I might be going on a road trip or something. Yeah, I might be gone for five days or so. So you got a couple of weeks, kind but of. But that's not until like. Yeah, that's not for a couple of weeks. Okay, so you you've got time. You're you're willing and you got some time to throw in to get this because yeah. I think we got three weeks, but then after that we kind of lost our chance with LCL. But if we can do it within the next three weeks. They're, they're still in the design phases for part three. How's your team going, by the way? Um, pretty good, but they really need our software too. You so it's just like not, not very good organization and like discussion, but this, it's because like uh, this last few weeks is all about how just how teams make decisions. And then we have to create this whole avatar player stuff and then create like an overall life pattern or, or, or overall like personality and goal for our group and that's where we started to be like well what, what the hell are we doing and now uh, we should do this and we should do that and like can we use a whiteboard is there a whiteboard online we can put some ideas on blah 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 and like just we need technology the people are, it's just like an hour long talk about what we should decide and, and you know people taking notes people typing in the zoom chat on the on the right that some some su suggestions that people are throwing out in the end is like not not a total agreement and there's no voting built into Zoom or anything, and yeah, no, we need our software. Well, you you you're seeing it. That's perfect, isn't it? To be mm -hmm. participating in something that's driving you crazy, so you got to come up with a solution. Yes. Yeah. So here's what we got, right? Okay, right. Um, we need, I and mean, you know, we got like, you know, the, the chat room as well. We pretty much to finish, right? Needs a little bit of, um. I have a feeling that by the time I don't I don't have a feeling that um, Jordan's good or Jordan um, Dylan Dylan I don't think Dylan's going to be able to get going before three weeks. Really? I have a feeling like his learning his learning curve and his practice curve and his interest curve is like really slow to start here, and I don't think he's going to have anything finished for us within three weeks. As far as like an entirely new, he wants to make an entirely new design on what we're doing, right? graphical looking design i i disagree i think that uh okay. i think that he's a guy who's got a formula a lot on his own that he could probably put together some kick-ass interfaces just in a night you know if he just sat down and did it which he, he said okay. he's working on some some mock-ups in uh in um photoshop, right? photoshop. so and I, you know seeing what he's done before i think you know it's just i think because the server wasn't there and he probably had some stuff to finish up. I think once he gets going, I think he could pop it all out in a couple of few days. Yeah. I don't know about the programming, but I just think about the the interfaces. Let's let's we'll see. I mean, um, we don't know, right? You might you might be reading right, but I don't know. He just seems the type who's sort of like very he deliberates and then he probably just really focuses 
and um, has an idea about something. I don't know. Okay. Well, you just think what's what's to do then. So the main thing that we have to do, I think, um, is not there's no more screens we have to create actually. Not re not right now. What we need to create is the seven mission steps and the mechanics that are going to go. And then, and then from that, we can say, okay, well, the chat room, we should, you know, on step three, it should kind of look like this, and we should move this thing over here and add this thing here, blah, 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 until we figure out what mechanics and what the steps are actually doing. I, I don't think we can say, okay, we need to, to modify that. Because it's just all about that one. That one chat room screen at this point. The only other screen we have to make is um, the screen that, that happens after the chat finishes, okay. you know, the summary or whatever, right? You know, the archives, all that kind of stuff. But it's way more critical right now. I think that we we decide what what's happening on the seven mission steps. We got the first mission step figured out. It's like a brainstorm. It, it just yeah. has a support button. That's it. The last one and and all the other ones are, you know, you know, if we can visualize walking like I'm I'm using my group to visualize it walking through a particular decision or a particular plan. That's kind of how we can visualize what needs to happen each step, I think. I came up with a larger thing. Let me just write this down and see what you think. Um, okay, I'll be back in two minutes, okay? Okay. Maybe write these down and just tell me to think this, this would be like the bigger picture. I got a clipboard now too. Jesus. <laughs> New sharpened pencils. <laughs> okay. So again, a seven step process where you have ideation. So number one, number two is designing. Number three is prototype. Huh? Sorry, what was number two? Number two is designing. Three is prototype. Four is test, five is market, six is feedback, and seven is upgrade. Hmm. So that to me is, is the larger product process that kind of makes sense to me. I don't know if it makes sense to you. And so then what we're doing is we're at the ideation stage and it looks like maybe we might combine ideation and designing together maybe, I don't know, um, or Maybe, maybe we're just doing the ideation stage. What do you think of those seven? This looks like uh, this seven looks like something that repeats. Could yeah, I mean you could like cycle, cycle around and then you go from up the upgrade. You come up with the idea, design, it. yeah. But what do you think of those seven as, st as stages? Yeah, I think it, it looks good. Like upgrade to me is not a final stage though. It's more like yeah, the final stage of a cycle. Yeah, yeah. That's what's so, meant. That could work. Um, I, I think what we need, like, as far as, like, terminology, yeah, we probably need to have, you know, three or maybe five different sets of seven words just so they can, you know, in a slightly different uh, context because some of them, they're not going to like one. I think it's really good for, for a cycle. But some of them they don't want a cycle they want a complete curve finish or start to end where they can say okay we're done let's go do it or we're finished you know let's do something else and then this one would be more like this could be a like a design like this this whole seven step thing would be a process that the company organization whatever uses every week or every month or every product or whatever Probably every three months Okay, so yeah, maybe what this could be, this could be the a three month product cycle. No, I think this would be a, this would be something that would happen several times in the three months. So you think a lunar? Like they would start with an item. Uh, oh, well, I don't know. I don't want to put a time scale. It could be a one day meeting too. No, but okay, no, but you're 
it's this is a product. I mean, if, even if you look at what we're doing, we can't do anything in a lunar cycle. I mean, we're if we look at if we were at our top game, we got that three month cycle for our remedy program, right? So that to me, the lunar cycle is your own job. The product cycle is seasonal. The resource cycle is is yearly, but the lunar cycle is everyone's job. Like within this three month cycle, each of us has a job. Like we we are going to be doing different things in different places. I might be in charge of testing. You might be in charge of building the prototype kind of thing, you know? Okay, but when we roll this out for OCL, um, is this something we want them to be using for three months, for it to take three months to go through the seven mission steps? No, 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 no. I mean, the, th the three month is just a kind of arbitrary starting point. I think that there's there needs to be a naturalness to a lot of things, right? Where you're not putting it, you're not trying to fit it into some parameters. You're just going, okay, you know, it's going to take as long as it's going to take. That's sort of how we've been operating, yeah. right? But just, yeah. I, I, uh, I see Luciel is, is the test for us, right? Like we're prototyping something and they're testing it for us, right? Yeah, so what, what the prototype something directly for what they're going to be using it for. So well, I, I think our original idea, you and I was like this, this would be this would be a seven week thing, right? Yeah, they would do one of these steps each week. So it'd be 49 days. Well, basically. No, I know. But what, yeah. Well, it, it may or may not like I don't know if if you can kind of go for the some of these stages take longer, some don't take as long. Um, but, but I think what we're doing here is we're looking at step one. We're looking at the ideation. That's that's what we're looking at right now, right? Okay. Like well, the, the main thing, like on, on the crescendo, I thought the main thing is they are choosing their idea. Oh, okay. Yeah. But in, okay. anyway, in, in, I'll go back to my proposal here. Um, my proposal was that the first three steps was like unfolding discovery and agreement of an overall mission goal. So the first three steps would be all about choose, like choosing what they're doing. Yeah. The four step, the four step would be like to establish the roles. Okay. Who's going to be doing what of the plan? And then, and then the five, six, and seven steps would be the the main objectives and the actual step by step plan. Okay. Okay. So like the first, the ideation, the brain, the literally just a brainstorming thing would be the first one. And then, you know, they support the people support the ideas they like, they throw out all different ideas. They say, oh, what if we do this? I don't, you know, blah, blah, blah. And in the end, it comes out with a bunch of supportive thoughts, some of them more than others. And then when they start the second step next, the next week, it, it already has that stuff plug, plugged in somehow. Yeah. So they can see, oh yeah, all right. We were working with these, you know, these, we had these seven kind of main ideas. This one was really popular. These two were pretty popular. These three were kind of like sidelined a little bit, but they're still there, you know, and then the sort of second step and, or the third step could be all about kind of looking at those original supported ideas and saying, well, which one do we really want to do? Well, wouldn't that, or perhaps okay, which so one if the second one was critical analysis, where they look through the ideas that were supported and look with a finer tooth comb. And then the third one, they actually choose. Yeah. Right? That's smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. And so what's the like concept type for choosing? <clears throat> choosing would be, uh, I guess, negotiation maybe. That's a negotiation. see the step two then the critical analysis being perhaps like something like pros and cons like generating pros and cons lists for each of the ideas um maybe some some weighting so like oh well this one would be more you know profitable or more useful or something and this one would be harder to, to do like maybe like three or four scales as well like an implementation difficulty, uh, uh, you know, a payoff kind of scale and a something else scale. So they can kind of scale, see the see them on a scale, 
how how would we, how would we do that? That sounds pretty complicated. No, no, no. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be too complicated. Like for instance, just off the top of my head, you could have the three scales, and uh, it would you know say you had five supported ideas from the last one. Um, it would divide that. It would you could make we can make a system so they could maximum. It would take a maximum of say five ideas, and then based on how many supports they had, it would break it down into a percentage. So this one was very well supported. It had 41% of all the supports. This one had 30, this one had 12, this one had seven. And then, so it would, it would automatically divide the meeting up like that in the time scale. So, okay, I have an hour meeting, boom, divided up 41% of the meeting time would be spent on this one and so on. Okay. And then the first, so it'd pop up with the, the, the support of thought, boom, we have to decide about this one. Uh, then it would have the three scales. Each person could click on the, they could just set it from one to 10, each of the scales themselves. And then by the time everyone had set the scales, it would just, it would just average them out. So on average, everyone thinks that this one's gonna be this hard and this profitable and this something. So the scaling would be easy. So the scaling like that would be from within the chat room, you could see the scales and the, and the bar kind of thing? Yeah. I've never seen that before, that'd be great. Yeah. Right? Well, that's, that's what we're trying to do, right? Create new mechanics, new visual visual tools that they can use during the meeting to actually do something. That's that's I think what we need to do. And if if you no, I like that. I like so, that. Yeah. If you could also, so, yeah, we just have to think of like how that work, you know. Or sorry, go ahead. Well, just if you could, I guess, have the scales, but be able to change the languaging of the scale, because different contacts might bring in different scales like we we might come up with a universal three or four but if we wanted to change it at some point i guess that'd be pretty easy to do right with the programming well that's what we just have to think about all this stuff first and then put yeah. it in the in the thing so that yeah. like the the facilitator when they create this this the second week the scaling mm -hmm. week or sorry the critical analysis step mission they would ask them okay what are the three scales you know it would give some suggestions profitability difficulty, um, whatever, right? And then and they could select the three scales or five scales or two scales or whatever. Do you think, do you think it's then, a critical analysis yeah. or do you think maybe it's an assessment? It's a bit of both, I guess, eh? Like we're assessing the- I like the one word. We boil it down to one word, it is better, I think. Assessment. Because we're, we're, we're figuring out which of the ideas is the best idea. So we are, we are doing a critical analysis of the idea and we are also assessing them. So I think either one would work. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think I tend more toward assessment seems to be more like more, more focused on what we're actually well, doing. Let's come, back, let's come back to that, that one. So what about step three and we can come back to step two more. Okay. So step three, I, I wrote down debated choice. And you had a different. Oh, um, I had negotiation. Term, I had I debate. Okay, I could see that one working too. Because the negotiation to me would be you're negotiating the term. Well, you're not really negotiating the terms, but you're every like everyone is going to be trying to put forth the idea they think should go right. So that's, I guess, could be debate. Debate maybe healthy debates better than negotiate. I like debate because it. It implies then we debate it and then we're going to vote kind of like the next or and then we vote i guess at the end of the meeting yeah that's the whole idea is that or at least the idea i had is by the end of step three they ma they've made a decision the whole group has made a decision based on the choices that they assessed in in step two that they generated in step one and then so the end of by the start of the, the start of meet, meeting four they can begin to really define the goal and figure out how they're going to do it and, and move on from there so it's like they've reached this 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 point where it's like okay we know what we're going to do now let's just figure out how to do it and, whoosh, and let's do it so okay so how would they do that what mechanics you know that's that's where it gets interesting um i mean it's at some point when you have... I'm sorry. no no go ahead well i just think i mean at some point i guess you would have each of the ideas and then there'd have to be just your basic voting mechanism and maybe 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 and i guess maybe what the facilitator facilitator can do is choose 
is it going to be consensus? Because that what we put forward is if it's not consensus, you're not going to get buy in, you're going to have the one or two people that are feeling like they're not part of it. So it's mm -hmm. either consensus. So maybe you, you everyone votes and if consensus isn't reached, then you have to start debating again. Until everybody's convinced and maybe the chat room, you don't leave the chat room until you've agreed upon the answer. Yeah, that part, that last part is hard to enforce though, especially with those groups. Cause like in my group, for instance, at the end of the hour, there's a couple of people who are like, no, nope, that's an hour, I'm done, I'm out. You know, they, they really like participating, but they, they feel like their time is being stolen if they, if it ever goes over time. So just an hour, you guys probably have. similar in some. Yeah. Well, I, I think for this, yeah. I think hour a week in this situation, we do an hour and a half um, in this situation. It's like Stanley Cup playoffs final game like this is you, you want to stay for this one because you're choosing, you know, I think some meetings you got people got to realize that it's a uh, make it or break it time, you know. Okay, so we put we can not really have the facilitators like pitch the the fact that hey meeting number three with this system we really got to make sure that we stick around and we finish it yeah the other the other ones the brainstorming etc oh you can leave at the hour but yeah this one may go over time and we need you to be there yeah and maybe you could also say that if you leave your vote doesn't count you have to be here you know the people in the room are going to make the decision that's interesting actually that would be that would be a way to fix it yeah so okay, okay so, so we'd, have, we'd have rules okay how about this we have to have somewhere in the chat room or somewhere like for that type of conversation we need rules and then the the facilitator can write in maybe we have basic rules like at some point maybe we'd have to go through every 72 conversation types come up with the rules i guess um or just have it blank and open so you could you could it's like a switch it's it's a it's a button where you press just to see okay what are the rules here for this kind of conversation. Well, yeah, I think for the for now, what we're doing, we just need to, to create the rules if we want for the seven steps. But down the road, yeah, we need to create the conversation rules for all or for the rules for all 72 conversation types. Perhaps each one of them would add a bullet point. So that if they click these three, boom, you got three bullet points that say this. If you click these two, nah, 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 you know. So I don't know, but for now, I think, yeah, we, we can't do everything. Well, I'm we, not we saying can't I, do everything. No, 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 do, no. I'm not saying that we have to come up with the rules for the other combo types. I'm just saying that there needs to be a place somewhere where the rules are listed and, and have with it on the facilitator screen, a place you can type in the rules. That's what I'm saying. And then we can yeah, put the rules yeah. one for those yeah. seven. Yeah. And before that too, we need to you know once we figure out what we're doing here and start building it out we also need to just build a little a description for what each of the seven steps for the facilitators for the cl everyone so that we have a little little um instruction manual for how to use our software right yeah say okay mission mission one is all about brainstorming you know the, the goal of it is to create some ideas there's a support button that's how the support button works step two is critical analysis or assessment or whatever da, 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 da. yeah so, so the Lucy L understands, so you don't have to explain the entire thing detail by detail. And so the facilitators can just get that email and have that thing to look at and say, oh, okay, right, mission step three is this. I need to talk about this when, with my group. For sure. So that they're, they're prepared for next week or whatever. But yeah, so for the consensus thing, I'm imagining. Um, so, okay, going back. So they've, so they've scaled, they've kind of scaled and perhaps even pros and cons the ideas in step two so they kind of have a scale they have some some kind of metrics to look at so that if that pops up in in the third one perhaps across the screen all of them are together with the different scales on them so they can see them all at the same time and they can click the one they like and the one they they, they want to um choose and then until everyone chooses the same one it continues to to just go uh, something like that and if they leave boom their choice disappears and if they, it checks for consensus again i like it could that. be as simple as that and, yeah. then, and then the rest of it is they're just talking they're just talking about it no really we should do this blah blah blah, blah. and then uh maybe again we bring back the support button there so that people can defend or debate 
pros, you know, pros and cons on their particular choices. So they can, if they click on, maybe if they click on the one they like and they type a message, uh, that message kind of goes underneath that one. They're like, I think we should do this because, and then uh, they click on the other one and they click uh, con and they can type a message and boom, it pops up as a con under that one. Wouldn't that be in the second one too? Like, wouldn't there be a way to do pros and cons and then that would be come over to the third day? Yeah, actually that's probably better because they're the scale thing won't take very long. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, so the second one then, they'll do the pros and cons for each of the ones and during the entire meeting they can they can play with the scales and then move them up and down and by the end of it, it, it averages them at the end. Okay, so that the second one they get it back or the third one they they see these things they pop up they've got the scales and they've got the main pros and cons that were that were. Uh, supported or whatever. Um, so it comes all down to a choice, the third one is all about choice. They must choose one yeah. So okay maybe let's just leave it at that there's some sort of consensus choice yeah. So then the fourth one. Then, so I thought uh, the fourth one, my original idea was that they establish roles, objectives, and plans. Or no. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. The fourth one is, is just a specific step by itself to precisely define the goal that they've chosen. You know, so they, they, they pick apart the mission statement or whatever they have there and really define it. So they really understand the goal that they've chosen, really understand the meaning of it, and they can really understand, like they can explain it, they can understand it, and then going forward next week, they can they can follow it. Okay. So like fleshing, fleshing it out, or however you want to say it. Okay. Oh, I don't know what to call that. Um, well, that would, that, I think that's almost, is that the beginning of design specs? That's the beginning of just, really getting clear with what your product is and what how it's going to be be like defining it definition yeah like um you, you know for example we want to protect the old growth forests that could be the mission step that they've chosen uh that the consensus choice was that that's the goal that their group is going to follow that's yep. what they're going to spend all their energy on going forward and then step four would be okay that thing would pop up right at the start be like let's define this so you know yeah, well, you know, perhaps a facilitator could identify the words, the main words in it. So like, say, protecting the old growth forests. So they would highlight protect, protecting, they would highlight old growth forests. And okay, let's define what are old growth forests? What specifically are we looking for? Trees older than this, sizes or, you know, land area look older, longer than this, bigger than this, uh, et cetera. And then protecting, what exactly do we mean by protecting? You know, are we going to be you know, forming protests or we put making, you know, whatever, I don't know, so just as an example, but they could really, well, so then maybe it's an, again, yeah, how would you do that? Well, hmm. but also like if you're flushing out, like it seems to me that you want to like goals and roles, right? Where you're looking at, do you then go deeper into the, how are we going to do it? And then you come up with some well, other goals some you know sub goals and then at some point well, the idea is that uh, steps five six and seven is all about defining the roles figuring out the exact the actual plan and then breaking it down into into the first steps and stuff yeah so that, I, I just like, that should take I, that's a, a lot that's a lot to do in those three steps like i yeah, think, well, I think each is. step each step to me should be like one major thing that they do like not to put a whole bunch into one step like every step is just one thing so to me like the the, mm. the fifth the fifth step would be breaking down into minor objectives and then the sixth step would be taking roles like each person going okay i want that like choosing the goals they want to hmm. and another thing could be the, the inflow synergy wheel, right? You've got this, the 10 functions. So it's kind of like they could choose one of the functions in relationship to that goal now. It's like one guy goes, okay, I'm gonna do the marketing. I wanna do, you know, to identify which of the synergy things that they're gonna do. That's good. 
because then they'd have a, a full system ready. Well, and, and, and not only that, but then we can we can start to build the second system that we're that we don't know yet out of that, so that once the ten the ten positions have been chosen, and perhaps a couple people have one position because there's twelve in most of the groups, I think still. Yeah. That yeah. that uh, after the seven week process, if Lucille is okay with it, then hey, we can use our second piece of software, which actually takes the team. Yeah. And blah 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 blah, whatever we you know that then we then we start to, to work on that after we get this going. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. So I mean, connect and unify. To me, would be this that would be they're they're connecting their team together and unifying around that central goal. So that would be the um, choosing a position, choosing a function on the synergy wheel. For, for, for the sixth part. And then the fifth part then to me would be breaking down more goals from that first goal. Like um, sections of it or step-by-steps? Well, more, more kind of like, okay, if we're gonna protect the old growth, um, we're gonna need a website, we're gonna need a, a media team, we're gonna need a, a researcher to you know what are all the pieces that we need and they'll pretty much align with the synergy wheel functions you know one way or the other they're, they're going to be pretty close and so then you bring in the synergy functions and you assign goals from there have you seen that or what yeah um, I'm, my mind is going back and forth whether they should do the goals at the end or do the goals at like literally at step four or not goals or the, the roles if they establish the roles immediately and then figure out what they have to do and then they can kind of each talk about oh well I can't do that or I'm going to need more time to do that or I think people or are, you do it the other way like we figure out what they're going to do and then you assign the roles at the end and say okay well, well I, I know that I'm going to take care of this and I know that that's my responsibility and Jim Jim's going to do that I can see blah 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 I don't know. Perhaps. Because, I mean, if you, well, if you got your first, if you let's say you said, okay, old growth, and then you go, okay, now choose the synergy wheel. It's kind of like the synergy wheel is a fully functioning system, but the juice of what people want are going to be the sub goals, right? You're going to have the big goal, and then you're going to have a bunch of small, small goals, and people are going, yo, I want to do that one, that one, that one. And then you give the interfaces, then you give the synergy wheel, and then you, you fit those goals on those wheels somewhere. And that's how they choose. That's how they choose what they want to do. I don't think people like going to the synergy wheel first. No, no, you're right. So, so the last step perhaps is assign roles and kind of. <laughs> How about this? How about step five is come up with 10 sub goals, 10, 10 objectives or whatever. And then and those are used as the kind of correlation to the next step of now you assign the, the goal to the function. And then maybe on the third, on the last one, the people choose which which function they want to do. Yeah, you know, oh, uh, that reminded me of something. I had this idea once where, okay, and some, there's probably other programs out there to do it, but basically like you have a goal, right? And then if you define, if you can define as a group, what the definition of successful, being successful at that goal, like what does that look like? And perhaps it is a few different things. Perhaps it's, it's probably, it's it, if it's one thing, then you failed. It needs, because you already have one thing right here. Yeah. It needs to be a bunch of different things, right? Yeah. But if they can, define the success of that goal then into those five things like um the forest forestry companies are no longer cutting down these things people are continuously talking about it i don't know whatever right um then if you can break it down to those five things or however many things then you can say well what is what is this particular step as a successful goal look like and then that can be broken down and, and i had this kind of hierarchy of success uh, thought of thought up once of, of like because because often I think people are thinking the opposite way is like 
oh yeah, we want to do this. I'm like, oh, what do we have to do this? We have to do all these things. And what do we have to do? Okay, we have to do this. But they're not looking at really like what, what, what you know, is success for this. Well, I guess it's, it's a bit of reverse engineering of looking at the results you want to do and go backwards versus looking at the goal and looking at what are the obvious things are that need to get done in order to kind of accomplish it kind of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, that idea I had is like success tree, a uh, success hierarchy so that, you know, if you can succeed at building a website, boom, that's somewhere down on this tree over here that connects to creating a presence. Uh, that, that has been defined as, you know, having this many people talking about it, having this much, whatever. Um, that, that, I mean, that, aren't they called like uh, key performance drivers? Aren't they sort of like, how do you measure? I think that's what they're called KPIs, key performance, oh, key performance key indicators. Yeah. So there, that's the data uh, that is showing you that you're being the successful. Well, the key performance indicators are like number of website visitors, number of dollars revenue. They're yeah. not actually the successful goals. They're they're just metrics of how they measure stuff. Okay. But yeah, it's something like that. Um, the KPI, because you could also say like number of hectares protected, um, number of uh, raw logs exported. You know, there's certain things which are showing us that things are going well and things are not going so well. Um, number of clear cuts of old growth. Yeah, that's how you measure whether or not you're succeeded at your goal or whether or not the goal is currently succeeding because some of them you can succeed and then it goes down and up and down. Right. But um, at the same time, like yeah. you may need, we need a hundred influencers on TikTok, you know, to get the amount of uh, coverage we need. That's an in-between, right? Like that's. Uh, or or how many logs exporting matters, how much land are, is our goal, you know, and like, that, and then we use the, the 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 numbers to say whether we've achieved that or not yet, and so that yeah, once we know, oh okay, we have 102 TikTok people now, boom, we can check that off and then move up the scale and say okay, we're we're one quarter done our entire section of this goal because we knew that we needed 100 TikToks, we need um, 100 thousand dollars, we need whatever the four things were that that make this particular goal successful. And then once we know that with that goal, that's one of the only, the, the top five goals to succeed at the whole plan. So they, they have kind of a hierarchical status thingy of success so they can monitor that, they can see it, you know? Yeah, yeah. That was the idea I had anyway. I don't know if we should do it or not. No, I, I, I like it because I think it's, there has to be some sort of a, uh metric of, of under of, are we going the right way or not are we accomplishing our goal or not and if you don't have metrics around that it's it's very very willy-nilly so what if step four is about that mostly so they've said at the end of step three they've made a decision on what they want to do step four could be not even maybe not defining the the mission as in what's the you know definite the dictionary definition of what we're trying to say here well like let's break it down into things no, I think we're like, let's break it down into, into what's of success. No, no, no. Because I think when no. you try to pile too much in, that's when people go off. And that I think, I, I think the pre precise, you're right. In the three, it's going to be vague. And in four, it's going to get precise. And then to me, five, mm -hmm. like, because I think something what you're looking at too is something we can do in the other sevens. Like we should just really break it down into the simplest we can. And I think that five is break down that one goal into the steps or the goals or like, what are the sub goals? Yeah, maybe even just one level. Yeah, just just one level. Just say ten, like, what what are the 10 goals that we have to do? Because okay. then so if, like, if yeah. we do the next if one, protecting, if it's protecting the forest, then maybe one of the five goals is, um, you know, uh, reclaim 1000 acres of, of land under some sort of society or whatever and have the website or i don't know whatever yeah well could like to me it would be like uh create the coalition website to bring all the forest defenders together um create a web tv show specifically around old growth forest protection that's planetary guardian tv show um you know create media teams that are specifically dedicated to old growth forest protection um you know, find a, another team, have a law team that looks at the legislation in every country about how to protect old growth forest. To me, those aren't goals, though. Those are steps. Same because thing. if you do, 
you accomplish all five of those things, you have a website, you have some people research and stuff, you actually haven't still accomplished anything. No, but you've got your infrastructure to accomplish it. Well, yeah, but that's like down here and the goal's up here and there's still a bunch of unknown stuff in the middle. Those are like kind of just, just the first the first ideas that the people have of how to get towards the goal. It's not actually working backwards from the goal. Which do we want to do, I guess? Well, I think that, you know, it depends on, again, we got to look at simplicity first in terms of just coming up with one goal and then coming up with, a you know, either steps or objectives underneath that goal that are going to lead to accomplishing that goal. And that's it. Like, just keep it, keep it as simple as we can. Then we bring in the functions. And then they connect the goals to the functions. And, and then the last one is they choose the role. They choose which position they want to be in. So now we've got the one goal, we've got sub goals, we've got functions, and we've got role, people in those functions. After okay. that, we can break it down. You know, it's just, we got to think of, of each step is creating just the beginning of, of what's going to occur. I think you are going into more depth from the, at the get-go that we don't need. Yeah, no, you're right. Okay. So yeah, yeah, you're right. And I think we should display it like that too when it's finished. It's like you have a goal up here and some kind of haziness and then some steps that are being worked on. And once you once the step is complete, you know, in, in another system, once the step is complete, boom, you kind of un, unfogginess this area and say, oh, well, let's define you know, what we need to do now and we'll slowly work towards that goal. Well, we have in Reich, like if we use Reich as a project management system, then we can go from, okay, here's what you came up with. And then it's programmed in Reich. And now they move into a project management system. So then we, then we have a project management system and our chat room, because the chat room we go to when there's problems, we've got to figure shit out. <laughs> Otherwise, we're working the project management system and we're just following that. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Let's not worry so much about that then, I guess. Yeah. So, so do you got last... that written down <clears throat> at five? It's, it's they're identifying 10 goals, sub goals, six, they're choosing the synergy wheel function. No, they're aligning the goals with the synergy wheel function. And then the last one, the finish is they're choosing their position in the synergy wheel function and the goal. Sorry, what was, what was step six? Step six was to choose the synergy wheel function or um, align, put the goals from five into the synergy wheels functions. Oh, uh, oh yeah, okay, and what was seven? Seven was they choose, they choose which synergy function they want. So then at the end of that, they would get this, the, the stuff that I, is behind me, and we would program it for what they came up with. So then they'd move into Zoom for other chats, and now they'd be talking in Zoom from function to function. Step five would be breaking it into goals, sub goals, is what you're going to say. Yeah, and 10 of them. So, so then there's and enough. Talking about any, any, but by the goal breaking into goals, you mean like what are the first steps the group's going to be doing to work towards that thing, right? Yeah, whatever they come up with. Yeah. But, they'll, but they'll see that at some point, one of the goals is a marketing goal, one of the goals is an infrastructure goal. So that's the next step is figuring out, okay, well, where are these goals fit with this function? And then the people get to choose, okay, where do you want to go? And they see where their gaps are, because there's going to be some, because then in the second seven, seven, we're going to take all the people who are at the learning and we're creating a team of a learning team, <clears throat> right? And that's going to be a different, <clears throat> a different connection because that's the matrix 
of getting people from the different teams to like all the marketers together. Yeah, all made the whole thing, the whole SEL or whatever group we're working with. That's the big thing, yeah. and that'll be the second system grading, right? Yeah, I think I don't. I don't know. I mean. I think it'll become obvious once they've gone through this, we'll go, okay, well, now we got to do this. I, I think if we go sometimes too far ahead, we miss the seeing what is really the next best step kind of thing. That's yeah. what I think has happened. Have you told Lissy all about, have you told Lissy all about that, like the cross pollination of teams? Yeah. I sent you a map. I showed you that the, you got a map where all the Lissy teams at the top and all the functions at the bottom, at the side. Yeah. That's, that's what we're talking about. And I think yeah, okay. that that's so, that sh we got to incorporate that map into what we're doing here to kind of uh, help people see, you know, what what we're building kind of. No, I mean, as soon as they're finished this first step, seven step program, then as soon as they start the next seven step program, we should start to integrate them all together. Yeah, yeah. Know, slow, slow over the seven things, slide them together. So that from OK. And that's what I think. I mean, I don't know what what they have planned, but beyond the group thing, the next, the last three month section or whatever, yeah, they should be cross pollinating the groups. That's Otherwise, this is just going to be a bunch of a bunch of you know unconnected groups. And like my group is the seeding global communities group, right? So far, as far as our group and our facilitator understands, our role is to actually take everyone else's ideas and put them out there. Huh. I don't know if that's true or not, but we seem to be some sort of hub for the entire thing. Okay. Yeah, you said that. I don't know well, if that's going to Well, it makes back. sense that you're on that team that because that's essentially what we're trying to do, right? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's fine good. with me. And two of the people that are on my team have already been on this team in previous years as well. Mm. So that's interesting. Is that Gino is one? But yeah, I think, uh, okay. Does yeah, Gino, Gino and then um, does Gino go to every meeting? No. How does that guy? That guy is spending a lot Probably. of time in a lot of different places. Uh, I know. Yeah. Remarkable. <laughs> yeah, a couple meetings to go to. His twelve-year-old daughter was there complaining about how he spends more time with us than he does with his family, and Gino was talking about how that's a problem for him and stuff. All that. Yeah, he's he's like a workaholic for sure. He lives. He lives for his work. Yeah, for sure. I mean, so why? But I got no family. I mean, you're. I live for my work too, but I'm trying to find a balance. Still, that's all. Yeah. We'll see. No, I, I think it's it's. So okay, okay. So sorry. So I gotta go in about twenty minutes here. Just yeah. FYI. Well, I'm just thinking. Are we cool? Like um, to me, we got some agreement here. Yeah, we definitely got agreement. Let's just see if we can flesh it out a tiny bit more, I'm thinking. So step five, they're breaking it into goals or steps or whatever um, that are going to be like the first things that people are going to start to do once this finishes. Yeah. Um, then they're going to be in step six, they're aligning their goals to the synergy wheel. Or at this point, perhaps, do they see the synergy wheel or they're just aligning it to kind of like sections of of activity and then next and then the last one boom they see it on the wheel no i think they should go directly into the wheel so step six they see the wheel they start like dragging and dropping things onto it or something yeah like put a goal where the wheel is kind of thing because net after the seven it's funny because we were i think we'll do values next next time because we're not doing val values is a big part of this but um i think goals you got to like get the goals going first we can align the values between the groups is, the, is a better use for those so when we start when we start cross-pollinating them see that that'll be a could be a way to see where the values kind of correlate uh, or complement or whatever Perhaps. I don't know. Yeah. I think we should just focus on getting this first one done. And the next series of seven, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll again have to go through the same process and figure it out. Because we'll learn a lot from the first from the first thing of what works, what doesn't kind of thing. And yeah.
I just it just seems to me that groups break down when you're when you ask too much of them and if you you and each step along the way you got to give them like one main thing to do and then that's it don't don't try to get anything more just be happy with that one main thing and then once that's done then you get to the next step kind of thing yeah people are already pretty overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that the has given us every week it's cra it's crazy our group they're being consistently over consistently overwhelmed <laughs> well did you did you i'm see behind too i've been in so many things like we had 32 people of the 144 signed up for the remedy at least up until a day ago or so so that's that's not a great percentage to me and then the same day they're given the mm -hmm. convo cards and then three sets of pngs of the the flow synergy and harmony all in one day with a 15 minute video and then not mm -hmm. not not talking about it during the week like Come on, that's that's like who can take that? That's 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 way too There's much. A lot of stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's a lot of stuff. But whatever, um, that's fine. <laughs> so I'm just trying to think of okay, I'm trying to think of the mechanics here. So step five is is the breaking into steps. So what does that look like? Well, and, I think they align the steps. Excellent. It'd be a bit of a brainstorm, right? I mean, it would be uh, it would be a brainstorm of all the all the things that people think they need to do. So you'd have a, I guess, like a list. There'd have to be a sort of a list that once you're on the list, then it works. But until you get on the list, you got to kind of debate it a bit or something. If if it's not a, maybe you have to. Maybe that's when you bring the support mechanisms for all the different goals. People just keep writing down goals. And then if there's a minimum of, let's say, three supports for the goal, then it goes on the list. Yeah, actually, even even simpler than that, you just have a list of all the goals that people are adding. You can just add one, boom, the goals are on the list right away at the bottom. And then as soon as someone supports it, it goes however high. Like if, if this thing, seven supports is at the top, this thing has five supports, it's second. And then the first five, are highlighted basically the, the rest of them are you know not as highlighted and then by the end you've got the five best first steps so they're all great first steps you can save them they can get saved in the group whatever see them still but the first five are kind of like the consensus kind of like best steps like we really need that website we really need to do that research right. we do you know i think and so that you yeah, wind up with five things pick 10 because then we have one function right oh uh yeah yeah, I think what might happen too is you end up with a lot of marketing or research ones and a lot of like, well, I don't know. Do you think there would be, you know, uh, one for each in the end? Because we're talking well, about. It, it'll show like things. if there's five for marketing and there's two, you know, it'll show what's missing, right? So maybe, maybe we don't have to worry about um, the numbers, like having more than 10, like we want as many as possible. And then, then the next day they're just going to drag and drop them into where they go. Because you're right, you're gonna have way more marketing. Yeah, I think maybe just say five, and then and then the next next week they're taking those five things, and because uh, say like one of them is build a website, right? That takes more than just one person. That takes you know, the marketing person to decide you know how it should be, or, or I don't know, like I can't remember the five, the ten different things, but it's gonna take some research for sure to like what should we put on the website. It's going to take uh, someone to make the graphics, someone to do the, the actual like building of the website, someone to type all the words. And, you know, they could end up taking those five uh, first first main goals or whatever of the group and and, you know, kind of saying, yeah, I'll, I'll take part of that on. And so, so the 10 roles kind of divide themselves into those five, maybe not one per person, but instead there's three, three out of the 10 people. Yeah, are working on the, the website and so on. Right? They're also going to be helping with this, and this guy is going to be helping with the website, but also helping with this, and somehow have that. Okay, I get it. Um. Okay, and then at the end one. So then, yeah, the second one. Or sorry, the sixth one. They're they're dragging. Somehow they are. 
they're signing the goals to the synergy function. Uh, I know, I know. They, they each of the goals come up, boom, and, and then you have like the goal here, synergy wheel here, line down the middle, one after another. The goals come up, and they say, "Oh, well, this is there's a bit of research here. There's a bit of this here. There's going to be a bit of that there, bit of that there. Boom, next goal, and then the synergy wheel again, click, click. So they can, and then by the end of it, they can see some subtasks like. The website's going to need some research. This thing's going to need that. And, and then the next meeting, they can kind of pick the roles, perhaps. Well, the next meeting, wouldn't they just yet yeah, the people choose what work they want to do? Well, we want them to, to take a section, right? To actually take yeah. a, a particular role. Well, well, I mean, I think it'd be. They're going to have the research. They're I going think to there's a the difference marketing. between holding space, like for marketing, and then working on specific goals or almost. Uh, maybe they can just take the leadership on that section yeah. for their group. So yeah. they're, they're going to do the leadership of the research where other people can help them and they may yeah. need help. Yeah. So assign 10 leaders. Yeah. That's good. And then what do the extra two people do? Some of the groups will have an extra two people. Some of them will have less than 10 because yeah. I know there's a few groups that are, they're not meeting very consistently, et cetera. Yeah. And most Not people don't choose infrastructure. Yeah. Well, also they're going to need definitions. Yeah. Like, what does it mean to choose infrastructure? What are they going to be? I mean, you know, essentially the person yeah. who's infrastructure is in charge of resources. So, I mean, it's it's actually the place that is holding all the stuff. You know, operations they're doing the work. You know, creativity they're building the product. Synergy they're dealing with the relationships of the people. It's, but you know, the flow wheel word is very specific. So it's, you know, the services is dealing with the customer directly. Research is figuring out the, what needs to be figured out. Okay. Um, okay, so let's go back. What's step four? We skipped step four. No, step four was precisely defining the goal. Okay, yeah. Yes, that's true. What would that look like, though? They have an hour, they have an hour to precisely define their goal that they've already chosen. Well, but again, they've chosen something that seems to be unique. Like, let's say, and, and it could be the beginning of four and five together where they define their goal. And it could be to, let's say, to remove, it depends how much debate happens. Like, is it to remove all the old growth force, you know, to stop all the old growth force and being cut down? You know, in, in three, they figured, okay, well, we got to, you know, protect the water supply or, or clean the water supply, or it's going to be something vague. And then four is getting exact. I think that means, or to me, that means defining this, what, what equals success. Like, how do we know, like, what is our, what is the goal of our success? Because hmm. if they can define what it means to succeed at their goal, they can really start to define what they need to succeed. Okay. So maybe, maybe they put in. Like maybe step five, there's there's they're kind of throwing out those bottom steps, the first things they're gonna do to work towards this goal. And step four is they're working on the very top. It's like, what does this really mean to succeed in the five main things that would equal success? And okay. then still the middle, the whole middle part is hazy and it stays hazy. Okay, I like that. <laughs> I like that. That would give them something to do too. Yeah, and it's kind of related to the to step five. Yeah. In a way. It's almost the same, but but opposite. Well, it's you know it's going to take more than you know to really nail the goals. I mean, it obviously is going to take more than one. So it can kind of be yeah, that makes sense for both of them. Okay. And then yeah, and then step seven still. Um, so they're they're choosing their roles or choosing their leadership roles or whatever but what happens during that entire hour like besides I, I want to be this i want to be that well maybe they then they look at well what goals are in each place 
<clears throat> and they, they, they also assign teams for the girl. Like you said, it's going to take two or three people to do the website. I think it would just be pretty much, you know, even if they just get that done, right? Like, I mean, if they just do, even if it takes 10 minutes to, to, to do what it does, fantastic, right? We did it. You know, it yeah. doesn't have to be extend the hour or whatever it is. To me, it's like, let's get concise with what we're doing. And then as soon as we do it, the meeting ends. Well, Some people like talking a lot and other people, they just, let's figure out, figure out what it is. Okay, so I think we could do it then. What if, what if, uh, for example, you know, there's ten steps on the, or there's ten pieces, right? One of them. So the first one highlights. It says who's going to do this or whatever, and anyone can nominate anyone, and then and then a bunch of people get nominated, and and then if there's a quick vote, it takes five minutes, and boom, that person's aside. Right. Whether they like it or not, they've been nominated. Everyone well, agreed. No, no, they're in. Wait a second. I I don't <laughs> think. <laughs> I don't think that's the way people want to go. I think everyone wants to choose what they want to do. I don't think nominating. I'm nominating Noah to build a website. Go build a website. The problem with that is like it's like, no, that, that won't work. I don't think because say, uh, you know, uh, no one wants to do the infrastructure. Then what happens? Then you have you to gotta, nominate. Someone has to do it. Right. Someone has to be in each of those positions. But they can't just choose. Well, or maybe they use, but they have, but all those positions have to be filled by the end of the meeting. Otherwise, it's going to screw us for the next for the for the cross pollinization. No, it's it's true, and I think that uh, I don't care about the process whether it's, it's they nominate or someone does it. Maybe we just say, yeah, some there's got to be at least one person in each of these. You guys figure it out. That's it. You know. Yeah, so, I know, but we're providing the mechanics of how they figure it out. That's why our system is so good, is because we're <laughs> we're precisely defining mechanics that they just need to no, mindlessly click through and boom it's done and they got their whole success finished so you're <laughs> saying that you can with our mechanics you can assign anyone you want to just press a button and stick somebody in somewhere if enough people yeah, vote if, on if, it if, if six out of people uh, six out of ten people think that this person would be great as the really you know the representative for the research of their team because no one's it's not saying that this guy's going to do all the research or this person does all the infrastructure it just means they're going to represent infrastructure for our group. You know, they're going to represent us on the research team of the yeah. whole the CL thing. Yeah. So I think it's not like a huge responsibility to pick any of them. Actually, I think it's just you're representing one or the other. Okay. So what are you saying, Mr. McCann? I'm saying uh, the nomination thing would be good. So it so the synergy wheel pops up. It it you know the first one on the top is the first one to go. Then the center it, you know they. Everyone clicks on someone's name, they get nominated. Uh, person with the most nomination wins. If there's a tie, there's a vote, boom, it's done. Then the synergy wheel rotates and, and the next one on top highlights and that one's decided. And they're, and each of their faces wind up in that circle and, and it rotates again, boom, John's I, face goes in that circle, rotates, boom, Alice's face and it's done. I love it. I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not saying, I say fine, sounds good. Cool. If you can build that, <laughs> that fucking tastic. All right. So, so okay, I've got enough to go on here to mock up some some kind of like pictures of what we're trying to say here with the mechanics, what the screen would look like, and then we'll be able to explain this to Jordan as well. I think. Okay. Duncan. Right. Duncan. Duncan? No, Dylan. Shit. Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> I'm gonna write that down right now. I don't know why I keep calling him Jordan. Horrible with names. So yeah, okay. Okay, very good meeting, I think. I gotta I gotta take off in a few minutes here and maybe um so we should meet with him soon or something. Yeah. Yeah. And he's having server problems and stuff. So I'm thinking. Friday afternoon, maybe? No, I'm thinking like in a few hours. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got to start. We got we to start motoring on this. I think. Okay. Get him at least, uh, you know, fully, fully integrated, so that he's just working on something while we're waiting. Yeah. Because he's waiting for us, really, still. Yeah. And I think that he might be able to finish this up. Like, I think uh, it, or at least it would be motivating for him. I think if we started this meeting saying, "Hey." We we just had a meeting about what we need to do next. We fleshed out the seven steps. We want your input on it. 
uh, talk for half an hour about that with him, see if he's got any other ideas to bounce on this, this system here. Yeah. And then say, and then, and then half an hour about the tech stuff, which you can sign off if you want, but I'll, I'll walk him through the server setup, talk about who's, you know, what he has to do as far as like how it should look and stuff or whatever. Sounds good. Yeah. I'll see if we can schedule a meeting and say, I'll be back in probably two hours, two and a half hours. Let's try for three hours from now. If that okay, so seven, seven o'clock. No, that's 10 o'clock for him, right? No, it's 10 o'clock for him, yeah. <clears throat> that's not bad. Let's see. Okay, can you can awesome. you contact him and see if him we can do it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, All right. Pretty satisfied. <laughs> High five. All right, talk to you soon.